Hello everyone and welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today, we will be talking about the SAP GRC Access Control. So when we talk about the Access Control product, we'll be looking at an overview of SAP GRC Access Control and its various modules, which are the Access Risk Analysis or ARA, Emergency Access Management or EAM, Business Role Management or BRM, Access Request Management or ARM, and finally User Access Review or UAR. So let's begin with an overview of SAP GRC Access Control. SAP GRC Access Control is a tool created to help organizations automate processes of managing users' access and to monitor SOD risk violations. It allows to personalize and customize processes related to user access management, business roles management, analysis and monitoring of the risk of segregation of duties or SOD, privileged or firefighter access and periodical reviews of access to specific individual requirements of each enterprise. SAP GRC Access Control is a software that allows you to manage this process in solutions from various developers, not only SAP, but also Oracle or JD Edwards, and various systems such as SAP HCM, ECC, BW, or CRM. To meet the requirements included in the GDPR, SAP GRC Access Control is a preventive tool enabling control of access at the authorization level. It addresses requirements in terms of emergency access, modifications of authorization on user and role level, and reporting of access to data and risks related to segregation of duties. Let's look at the modules of SAP GRC Access Control. It consists of the following modules. Access Risk Analysis, Emergency Access Management, Business Role Management, Access Request Management, and User Access Review. What are the features of SAP GRC Access Control? Increasing the awareness of business by engaging them in the whole process of managing users and authorizations. Automating the granting access process, which saves time spent on this type of activities until now. Business or IT users can deal with other tasks. Documentation for the process is stored on the SAP GRC side. Automatic identification and mitigation of segregation of duties risks in the system. Also obtaining protection of sensitive functions in systems, both in current and future or requested user authorizations. Possibility to prevent unintended errors due to broad access in backend systems. Optimization of users work in the SAP system. Harmonization of user access with their actual organizational responsibilities providing the necessary information or audit documentation required during internal or external audits. The ability to integrate with other applications and use on computers, tablets, or even smartphones. Management dashboards presenting current security status in the area of access to systems. Now that we've looked at the access control features of SAP GRC, let's look at its first module the ARA. What is SAP GRC Access Risk Analysis? Access Risk Analysis is a dedicated tool for segregation of duties analysis. This module has been designed to identify, analyze, and solve all problems related to work safety and audit associated with laws and procedures compliance. As part of the solution, a standard rule set of segregation rules is available. It is based on best practices existing in business areas or processes, which can be tailored to the specificity of the client organization. It provides a comprehensive access risk management function for one or cross systems. It enables SOD risk identification, mitigation, reporting, as well as performing simulation. Analyzes can be con conducted collectively or per unit 
based on the dedicated organizational rules. Let's look at some features of the ARA module. Segregation of duties conflict matrix which reflects the current processes in the enterprise. Detection of threats arising from too broad access and authorization of users. Conducting risk analysis and generating SOD reports. The possibility of implementing mitigating controls and a simulation tool useful for making decisions about granting new access to users. Now when it comes to the ARA module, we're basically looking at risk management and the process of risk management goes like this. The first step is to identify risk, then we access the risk and control it. And finally, the controls are reviewed for further editing. So as we go across the cyclic process, some risks are eliminated, other risks may be found and they will be eliminated as we go along. Now let's look at the emergency access management module. Monitoring emergency and privileged or IT consultants access to production systems is a key aspect from the perspective of business data security. This issue is very often reported by audit teams. SAP GRC EAM module will be handling such events that takes place using firefighter ID or emergency access accounts. All actions taken while working on firefighter ID account are monitored and subject to review by appropriate users or controllers in the form of readable logs in the application. So a super user, it grants emergency access to various people as and when required and all of these will be logged. Now let's look at how the process works in the system. Now, any request by a user will be raised for emergency access or firefighter ID on the GRC portal. Now the firefighter ID is owned by a particular person and the account owner here will review the request and provide access. And once it is approved, the user or requester receives the confirmation of granting firefighter ID access. Now at the same time the emergency access is granted, the logs are activated. And these logs allow the GRC controllers to monitor and verify the usage of the firefighter ID. Now what are the features of the EAM module? clear and transparent policy for managing special accounts or firefighter IDs, full control over the activities performed on dedicated accounts in the system, reducing time required to obtain approval for privileged access to the system, covering the most common audit recommendations regarding redundant access of consultants to production systems. Now let's look at the next module. Business Role Management or BRM. The BRM module being part of the SAP GRC Access Control Solution automates the process of managing, cataloging and role definitions in a business friendly way. The BRM module enables comprehensive management of the organization's catalog of roles in accordance with the best practices for many environments and various developers not only SAP, but others, including Oracle and JD Edwards. And many systems, SAP HCM, ECC, VW, or CRM. The simplified documentation for roles is stored in the system and presents their key parameters in a way that is understandable for both technical and business users. Now let's look at the workflow of the BRM module. Now we have three separate users here, the role design team, the SAP security analyst, and the business process or role owner. The role design team will identify business needs and they communicate the same to the SAP security analysis. They will also evaluate the set needs and approach on how to create them. The SAP security analysis analysts while getting the information from the role design team they will maintain the role definition after that they will perform risk analysis on the recommendations given by the role design team 
after that, they are expected to manage risk along with the business process or role owner. And then the ro role owner gives his approval, whether positive or negative. If it's rejected, that's the end of the process. But if it's approved, the role owner would then delegate the SAP security analyst to generate results, which will then be given to the role design team to perform testing and document results, further results. And that will be the end of the workflow for BRM. The features of the BRM module provides organized and stored in one place business roles catalog, enables to eliminate segregation of duties risks in roles. It allows you to gain complete control over the change management processes for roles, meets the requirements of external and internal audits in the role management process, enables the costs optimization of roles creation in various systems and environments, and they're not limited to SAP systems, supports creation of composite or position roles. The next module in SAP GRC is the ARM module, Access Request Management. The ARM module enables the automation of user management processes and their authorizations based on requests. It is possible to create requests in easy way through a perspicuous interface. Requests might concern, for example, granting or removing authorizations for yourself or another user. The ARM module offers a range of configurations and it allows you to create separated approval paths for various request types. This tool enables to use the built-in risk analysis tool in SAP which allows you to analyze in real time how the requested role will affect the state of segregation of duty conflicts in the company and, if necessary, prevent new conflicts. All requests are archived and could be easily found using built-in search and reporting mechanisms. So this is how the workflow will look like. As, it, as you can see, it's all 100% automated. It, can be, it is activated in the event of an employee hired or retired and it can use multiple systems such as SAP, Oracle and others. Now let's look at the features of the ARM module. Automation of the authorization management process. Accelerates the process of granting access to users. Allows an intuitive and understandable way of requesting access by all users. Prevents new segregation of duties or SOD conflicts by using risk analysis on the submitted requests. Reduces working time of IT teams and adherence, adhere to organization, adherences the organization to security and audit requirements. The final module of SAP GRC is the user access review. The UAR module supports process of periodic reviews or recertification of user authorizations. The purpose of the review is to harmonize user access in systems with employee responsibilities. In particular, during periodic user reviews, redundant authorizations related to, for example, remaining access after changing the position within the company, redundant rules can be removed from the user. Through the dedicated workflow mechanisms, the system distributes requests with information about users and their authorizations in the system. Reviewers can make deci decisions about approving or removing roles from the user. Decisions are automatically implemented in the systems. So this is how the UAR would look like. The role owner here can change the roles assigned to every user. For example, the user on the left only has role one, while the user on the right has access to both role one and role four. The features of the UAR module include automates process for periodic access review, continuous monitoring of the review process and decisions, automatic role removal if needed, improves efficiency and transparency of the review process, audit trial and reports for supporting internal and external audits. So there's an audit trail and audit reports available. 
that's all for today's episode. We hope you found this very informative. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Brain Blitz Audios. We will be here with more videos on SAP as well as other subjects, so please don't forget to hit the bell icon present below the video to receive the latest notifications. So until the next webisode, take care, stay safe, bye-bye for now.